and welcome to Sadrika's world. In my last video, I have posted science lesson 2 1 marks. So now I'm, we are going to discuss science lesson 3 1 marks. So let's go to the video. So guys, this is our third lesson, separation of substances, cleaning of food. So let's go to the book exercise. So fill in the blanks. First one. The method used to remove grains from their stalks is called dash. The answer is threshing. Second one. The process by which vapor changes into liquid state on cooking, sorry, cooling the, is called dash. The answer is condensation. Third one. Salt is obtained from sea water by the process of dash. The answer is evaporation. So fourth one. The process of allowing muddy water to stand so that mud settles at the bottom is called dash. The answer is sedimentation. So now is fifth one. Fifth one is dash means cutting the crop from the field. The answer is harvesting. So now sixth one. During dash, the solid particles that settle down forming a layer are called sediments. The answer is sedimentation. So, seventh one. Dash particles are lighter than grains. The answer is husk. Eighth one. Last one. Filtration is used to remove the dash from fresh fruit juice. The answer is pulp. So, now is true or false. First one. A mixture of sugar and water can be separated by hand picking. The answer is false. Second one. Sieving is a method used for separating components of a mixture which are of dash. The answer is true. And the third one is during sedimentation lighter particles settle down forming sediments. So the answer is false. Now fourth one. Filtration is the method used for preparing paneer. The answer is true. So the last one is a liquid can be converted into its vapor form by the process of decantation. The answer is false. So now match the following. Column A, column B. So column A. Winnowing, filtration, sieving, evaporation, threshing, condensation and hand picking. Now column B. Separation of pulses and stone. Separation of grains and stalks. Conversion of water vapor into its liquid form. Separation of husk and grains. Separation of mud and water from muddy water. Separation of stones and sand. Extracting, extracting salt from sea water. So now go to the answers. Winnowing. The answer is separation of husk and grains. Filtration. Filtration answer is separation of mud and water from muddy water. Now sieving answer. Separation of stones and stand, sand. Now fourth one evaporation answer. Extracting salt from sea water. Now threshing. Um... Separation of grains and stalks. Now, condensation. Condensation answer is conversion of water vapor into its liquid form. Now, husk. Sorry, husk not. Hand picking. Hand picking answer is separation of pulses and stones. Now, we can go to choose the following. First one. Impurities present in the water can be separated by dash. Choices are sieving, filtration, condensation, gnawing. So the answer is filtration. Second one. The method used to remove pulp from fresh fruit juice is dash. Choices are sedimentation, decantation, filtration, condensation. The answer is filtration. Third one. A mixture of sand and water can be separated by using dash. The choices are hand picking, sieving, threshing and sedimentation. The answer is sedimentation. Now fourth one. Iron is separated from a mixture of sulfur and iron by dash. Choices are winnowing, hand picking, sieving, magnet. The answer is magnet. 
last one in summer the pond dries up by the process of dash the choices are evaporation decantation condensation and sedimentation the answer is evaporation so now we will go to the extra one marks turn page number 32 first one dash consists of two or more types of particles the answer is mixtures dash consists of particles of only one kind the answer is pure substances so next one is um, yeah dash is the practice of separating separating undesirable solid substances or impurities from useful solid by hand the answer is hand picking so the next one is dash is a method used to separate the components of a mixture which are of different sizes the answer is sieving so turn next page number is 34 the process of separating grains from the stalks is called dash the answer is threshing dash is a method used to separate lighter components of a mixture from the heavier ones by wind or by blowing air the answer is winnowing now turn page number 35 dash is a process in which heavier particles of an insoluble solid in a liquid settle down the answer is sedimentation next is dash is the process of pouring out the liquid or water without disturbing the sediment the answer is decantation now turn page number 37 the process of converting a liquid into its vapor form is called dash the answer is evaporation so now turn page number 38 the process of conversion of water vapor into its liquid form is called dash the answer is condensation so that's all so to view the lesson one and two one marks click the link below in the description box so guys thanks for watching my video please subscribe my channel like and share Bye!